Hello, nerdlings. Hello, nerdlings. Are you ready for a change up? So, we don't exactly have a place for comics yet, but we have we been sit picking on up the couch a lot. And read them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we basically had all of the comic boxes in the living room so that we can read them then. By the way, I just thought we would point those out real quick. We did, we've been having fun picking up a lot of the graphic comic boxes, and something that we like to do for ourselves to make it easy is we try to theme them out. Like, we've got Gwenpool here, so all of my Gwenpool and Deadpool comics have been going in those, because I haven't been able to find a Deadpool comic. And then we've got the Phoenix here, and she's she's doing what, what is she doing? Uh, since we just picked up the X-Men one, the X-Men are going to go in there. They used to be in here, but now we're going to use Phoenix for all of our X-Force, X-Factor, Excalibur, Exiles. And my Phoenix ones, because there's a Phoenix line that I have, the Phoenix Resurrection. And then Vampirella kind of catches all like the horror comics and stuff like that. And then right here we have Miss Harley Quinn, and she carries all of our DC since no offense to DC fans, but we don't typically pick up as many DC comics. So we didn't really need as many of those, because that's mostly going to be for, like, my Hawkman and Aqua Woman. No, Mara from <laughs> Aqua Woman. Aqua Woman! But uh, we don't typically pick up a, a whole lot of those. And like he said, the X-Men one we just got, and that's going to carry all of our X-Men in it. And then, and then the Avengers over here, that's kind of for uh, the catch-all for any Marvel comics that we get whether they're Avengers or uh, some like limited series. I think you were doing the Vision and Scarlet Witch, yeah. picking those up. And then we also have just a plain old boring one, which a lot of people <laughs> have suggested, like you go out and buy the dollar comics and cut them up and like decoupage and make your own. But it's like, I feel bad doing that. But we do have a lot of random comics that don't really go into anything. So that's kind of what the plain white one is going for. A lot of the free comic book day comics end up mm -hmm. in there. A lot of the comics that you would get from your Marvel collector core or, or back Loot when Crate. Loot Crate mm -hmm. would do comics. Yeah. So it was kind of a good catch up. It's for not those that they're people. not loved because we definitely read them. It's just they didn't have a place yet and they you know they don't we haven't come across a generic comic box one, which would be fun if it had like the pow, zap, zoom. <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun. But we've, we thought we might, you know, give you our little tip of what how we separate our comics out so it's a lot easier to find them what you want. Because if you're like, hey, I want to read a Deadpool comic, well, there you go. Just go to that one. Because, you know, when people come over, we don't mind if you want to read our comics, unless you're the kind that, you know, like, bend them or whatever. If you're nice to our comics, we'll let you read them. No uh, Cheetos dusted fingers. No. No folding the paper bag. Definitely let us know, though, if any of you have bought any of the graphic boxes, and if you have any of the same ones, if you have any different ones that you really like, because we're always on the lookout for them. We discovered that you can find them online. But uh, if you've got a few comic book shops in your town, yeah, it definitely good. pays to yeah. go there. Yeah. Now, in this video, uh, we're showing some of our uh, recent, less recent pickups. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun reading we the have. comics, so yeah. we kind of kept putting them off to the side. It's like, well, we can't go through that stack yet. We haven't read them yeah. yet. So uh, I'm mostly here for moral support this time around. Yeah, this one I is, think this is all you. This is all me because it's mostly Deadpool, which he likes it. But it's mostly my Deadpool, my Gwenpool. I thought I'd show you off some of my favorite covers and whatnot, or what drew me to them. Well, let's get started. Well, I have recently, like literally recently, <laughs> got into Spider-Gwen because I bought um, some uh, Funko Pops, and it, she came in the lot that I bought because I was going after De uh, Gwenpool comment, or Pops. I've got too much in my brain right now. But anyway, so the more and more I was looking, I was like, you know what, she's actually kind of neat looking. So I thought I would look into her. So I picked up a uh, Spider-Gwen comic that I found. It's not the first issue that she ever appears in, but it's the first one of the Radioactive uh, series. So I just thought that was kind of fun. I thought I would read her, read about her and see, you know, what she's all about. Because apparently, uh, from doing some research, aside from Gwen Poole, who is not Gwen Stacy, Gwen Stacy seems to pop around... A lot. I, I think I was reading that she she uh, kind of photobombed a bunch of covers and pretended to be Doctor Strange and Hulk, and hmm. they called her like Gwen Hulk and Doctor Doctor Gwen Ange or something like that. I don't know. She's she gets around. <laughs> That's the last thing Peter Parker wants yeah. to hear. <laughs> but the neat thing about her is that Gwenpool is um, the alternate universe. She gets bit by the spider. And Peter Parker does not, so basically they roll their roles get switched. 
she becomes the amazing Spider-Man. And he's just the mild-mannered kid next door. <laughs> so that's kind of a brief rundown of her. Something else that I really got excited about finding was, um, it's a reprint, obviously, but it's Howard the Duck, the one that Gwenpool actually shows up in. So the very nice. first episode that Gwenpool ever shows up in. So that was that was a lot of fun to get. And then... And of course, you know, we've been seeing Howard appear in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Yes. Uh, Mid-credit scene in the... Or post-credit scene in the first one and then midway through the movie in the second one. So Gross. Yeah, maybe let him lick you maybe like he's uh, making a comeback. Fun fact, ladies and gentlemen, Howard the Duck was Marvel's first m movie ever. Was it 80s? I, I believe so in With, the 80s. What's her name? With Marty McFly's mom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Um, we, we've already covered that. Yeah. I just wanted to show off a couple of the Gwen pools that I've been picking up lately just because I thought their covers were kind of fun. Um, I really liked this one because I'm super into dragons, as you all probably know by now. So I just thought this was fun. She's fighting a dragon on the front of it. Well, this one kind of gives me a, a, a Dragon's Lair vibe, actually. It does look very Dragon's lair -y. Now, also to note, even though you picked these up because you like the covers, you're going for a full set of I am, Gwenpool, Gwenpool right? I am going for a full set. So that's why I'm just showing you some of the fun covers, not like, you know, why I picked it up. Because I'm picking up all of them, including her <laughs> the books, where they're the collected books. I love all the nerds down here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like it's a D and D thing, just reading their books and everything. And I haven't had a chance to get through because I've been kind of popping around reading Deadpool and and Marvel and DC. I've been popping around, not re sticking with one thing while I'm reading. So I haven't got to read that one yet. So I'm really curious about that one. This one I also thought was a fun cover to show you guys because she's just dancing with them. I don't know if they're zombies or just skeletons, <laughs> but she's having a good old time. She's just dancing away. And I can't remember if. We've swapped some bags uh, as we've picked things up and put them in old bags and everything. So I can't remember if this was the actual price that you picked this one up for or not. Um, a lot of these we have been able to pick up during sales. For the buy one, get one yes. free. Yes, so that's so. been very nice and makes it very easy to, to fill in gaps in the yes, collection. Yes, And the next one that I wanted to show off was obviously Venom gets around a lot because he even attacks Gwenpool at one point. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of neat on the edge of the... Of the, does it say Venomverse? Yes, Edge of Venomverse. Is this yeah. uh, Gwenom? Gwenom? Or not Spider Gwenom, but Gwenom Pool. Gwenom Pool. I don't know. I like just Gwenom. <laughs> She's kind of nah, neat. Just, she, uh, she looks kind of weird she in the does face, look cool. though. And this is, they've got some variant cover versions of all of her oh. comics, and I haven't picked any of those <laughs> up yet. But And then, of course, I always. Oh, did you notice? Not only is she holding her guns and like rockets, but there's her phone. She's got to always have her cell She's phone. She's got her cell is phone, her cell one phone of the in every tentacles. one of those pictures. Oops. Thought that might be interesting to see if she's got it in every one of the covers. I'm not seeing it in this one, though I will note that the sword does kind of look like the uh, Sword of Omens from Thundercats. <laughs> oh. And then who doesn't love a Christmas special? Everyone's got to have a Christmas special. And I liked this one especially because it's got my Deadpool in it. So, you know, we get to cross those guys together. And I think that they've crossed over a few times, haven't they? Yes. Yeah. They fought a couple of times. I know that in one of the uh, Deadpool kills the Marvel universe. Yeah. Uh, deep spoilers. He kills Gwynpool because he's killing everyone. Well, you know, he's Deadpool. He thinks everyone's uh, going to regenerate like he does. Fighting Santa. <laughs> and then let's move on to Deadpool. Now these, I eventually plan to get all of Deadpool's it's quite an undertaking, I know, which is why I'm trying to find a Deadpool box. But right now, I'm basically going off of covers. If the cover looks cool, I'm going to pick up the Deadpool. Unless it's a series that I'm actually <laughs> reading, and then I'll go for the series. Because Deadpool does a lot of mini-series in his big series. What, uh, what a great line, by the way. If the cover looks cool, going for the pool. <laughs> anyway, so the first one that I have right here is... The Wedding of Deadpool. Bum, bum, bum. You know what I like about this? It looks like he sent an invite to everybody. It really does. Like, everybody is in there. And, you know, it's one of those things. I don't know if that's death that he's marrying or what, because her face is all covered up. So I don't know, because he's married a couple other people. He's He's gotten married a few times. Because, <laughs> uh, like this one, uh, here we have death till death do us part part one 
and I'm actually having a lot, lot of difficulties finding the rest of these issues. I'm, every time I go to a comic book shop, I can always find part one and part six. And honestly, for a while, <laughs> I thought that because Deadpool is such a smart ass, I thought he just did part one and part six. But then recently I went to a comic shop and I found three, three and five. <laughs> so I was like, hey, they did do middle ones. That that would be great, actually, if there were a Deadpool series that it was, you know, a six-part series, but there were actually only, like, two parts. That would be hilarious. And he does name it number one and six, because I was actually listening to a Deadpool audio, graphic audio book, and the uh, narr poor narrator, um, Deadpool, would say, chapter 13, chapter 22, chapter 14. So he literally jumped around. So that's why I thought <laughs> it's very Deadpool-esque. And this one I picked up, it is a variant cover. I just thought it was hilarious because it's Deadpool in Loki's world, in Thor and <laughs> Loki's world, and he's talking to the old father, and I think he's pretending to be Thor and, and everything. And He's probably there to kick some Asgard. <laughs> yeah, some Asgard. <laughs> and the next one that I picked up, I just thought would be kind of neat to check out because this is Vanessa from the, well, we're assuming it's the Vanessa from the movies. Um, everybody's uh, figured that that might be the Vanessa, even though she hasn't shown any powers yet in the movies. But she's actually blue and she's a shapeshifter. So that's why a lot of people were thinking that might be the same Vanessa. But who knows? Maybe so, the powers will show up later. Yeah, let us know in the comments below if you think that Vanessa is going to uh, have powers eventually in the Deadpool movies. And what's going to turn her blue? <laughs> she's going to drink. She's going to eat a Smurf. Smurf. And I just thought this one was kind of cute. It's uh, Deadpool being um, Cupid. Lord knows that would not go well. He'd probably shoot like a giraffe and a gorilla to he, make them fall in love with each other. He would shoot weird things. <laughs> He'd make all kinds of weird <laughs> couples and everything. Yeah. And like I said, I have not read this one. But the reason I picked this one up is because it's Deadpool with a rock and he's using a child as bait. But what caught my eye, not that he's using a child as bait. I'm not morbid like that. But the note says that this is Deadpool's kid. So I was like, does Deadpool have a kid? Or does he just kind of, is he pretending kind of a thing? So anyway, the fact that the note said it's his kid caught my eye. <laughs> so that's why I picked that one up. And of course, any Marvel fans out there, you know that pretty much everyone has a kid, an illegitimate child out there somewhere. Gotta be somewhere out there. And then I purchased this one. This is a reprint, obviously, because... This is the very first issue that Deadpool ever shows up in, and it's, uh, right now I think they're like, if you have the originals, it's like $300. So nope. that's why I went for a reprint, and it only cost me $4. <laughs> uh, of course, this was back when Deadpool was a serious character. He wasn't yes, a fourth was... wall breaking, wise cracking, no. smart ass. No. And the thing that makes me sad is, back when I was younger and I had, uh, I had a few X-Force issues, I honestly think I had this one, and I got rid of it. Like the original, not a reprint. We so won't that's, talk about that's that. Sad. We that won't hurts. talk about that at all. <laughs> that being said, this one is not a reprint. This is the second issue ever that Deadpool shows up in, and I did pay six dollars for this one. Um, I don't know if it's going to go up in price like the original one does, but. I, I didn't want to pass it up at six dollars, you know, uh, just in case this one shoots up in price too, for whatever reason. And it's not that we're collectors in the sense that we'll sell it, but in the sense that I don't want to pay that for <laughs> it later on. So that's why I went ahead and bought this one. I don't know when he actually starts showing up as the Deadpool we know and love. That would be interesting. That would be interesting to look up. Well, now you can start from the beginning I and, can. and see if it's a, like a switch or if it's gradual. Yeah, because like I said, Deadpool does do a lot of mini series and he does some that are Merc for the money, Merc with the mouth. So it's a, it'll be interesting to see which one he pops up as. Um, the it. Blood Hunters. The Blood Hunters. Deadpool's back. I'm waiting for the part that says enough said. I thought this one was a lot of fun because it's Deadpool family and it's got all the iterations of Deadpool. It's got Deadpool dog, Lady Deadpool, <laughs> Deadhead, uh, Kid Deadpool. Um, Does it have the Marvel zombies? Deadhead? Yeah, it's got Deadhead awesome. on there. Awesome, that's awesome. It doesn't have Squirrel Pool or Panda Pool or any of those, but I just thought that was kind of neat because it's... Gonna have to 
save something for the sequel. I guess so. But I just <laughs> thought that was a lot of fun because it's literally it is a family because you've got the dog, the mom, the dad, the kid, and uh, the head. <laughs> I don't know where that falls in into place. I, I want to see the back of their car with the stick figures because of the head. Uh, and then this little pack I picked up, I just thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't have all of them. But it's Deadpool in each one of these, and he's fighting, and I, I I don't know if they're, I think they are zombie presidents. So this one's Abraham Lincoln. This one is Teddy Roosevelt with all of his animals. And um, I, I haven't been able to find them all yet. Oh my gosh. And this one is George Washington. <laughs> so, you know, zombie presidents and Deadpool, they go together so freaking well. Oh, man. I really hope that these initially came out on like President Today. That would have been really funny. I'm very <laughs> curious because this is like this is number four, two, and six. So I'm very curious to know how many there were because I need to look that up and and like I said to see what other presidents they used. So I thought that was fun. Um, I think Nixon's still with us, right? Yeah. Oh, because that's a shame. I'd, I'd like to see Deadpool fight Nixon. Tricky dicky. <laughs> <laughs> Another one that I found that I thought would be neat, and I do have a couple of these, but this was my favorite cover of the Deadpool versus Thanos. And so since, you know, Deadpool just came out, Thanos just came out to use his gauntlet, um, I thought I would show off a fun one, but I thought this one was kind of neat because they both have helmets on. Deadpool has fish in his helmet, and it says there are fish in my helmet in his little sticky note down here. And um, Thanos says, why do I need a space suit? <laughs> Yours truly, Thanos. Awesome. So, alrighty. And last but not least, I I wanted I have a four-part series, and I know there's only four of these, and I did manage to find all four of them. But it's called Night of the Living Deadpool. And we've got one. Woo! Throwing them all over the place. Two. Three. And four. Now, something that is pretty cool about these, I did find these in a flea market in just a normal bin. I don't know if I'm going to hold that out. Am I in order? <laughs> did I pull them out in order? Anyway. Anyway, they are signed by the author, Cullen Bunn. And I, uh, I don't need any kind of certificate of authenticity to know that this is for reals because about the time that this book, these four books came out, he did a signing at um, Comic Cave, our local comic shop we love going to. So it's pretty, com pretty, pretty confident that these are his actual signatures. So I thought that was kind of neat to just find those in a flea market bin. And for um, as an expensive, I picked them up. I think two dollars a piece. So I was really excited about that one. He has another set of these, another set of four called Return of the, Le Re it's either Return of the Living Deadpool or Return of Night of the Living Deadpool. Anyway, there's four of those and I'm gonna try to pick those four up because when we go to CaveCon in September, he will be there and doing another signing. So I think that's gonna be really neat. First of all, I will take these and ask him if this is his actual signature <laughs> so that I can get my own certificate of authenticity but I'm going to have him sign his second series from Deadpool. So that I thought that was really kind of neat. I thought that was just kind of a neat thing to find a signature, you know, of an author of Deadpool. So. And again, since she said that uh, we were able to verify the fact that he had been to our local comic cave mm -hmm. to do the signings, um, it just goes to show all the more reason to keep up with your local comic book shop yeah. so that whenever they come to town and are there available to do signings, you can get your stuff signed too. Yep. So you don't have to try to luck out and find them in a flea market bin somewhere. Yeah. Now if only it could have been like a Picasso or something. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I just thought I would show that off. And that is my the fun covers that I have found of Deadpools that have, um, you know, made me pick them up. Like I said, eventually I'll get them all. But right now it's just, if the cover looks fun, I'll go ahead and get it. So again, she's definitely going for the full set of Gwynpool. Uh, she's kind of getting into Spider-Gwen, mm -hmm. and she's into Deadpool, kind of going for the full set as it's available and yeah, affordable. Basically. So keeping those things in mind, guys, if you know any great storylines for Spider-Gwen and Deadpool especially, yes. let her know what she should be going after. Yes. Yeah, I definitely want to know that because basically what I'm doing right now is getting online and trying to read them in order as they came out. So I'm, you know, 
reading, finding a reading list online. So I would appreciate your guys' feedback versus just a reading list. So make sure if you guys like this to give it a like, hit that bell for notifications. And uh, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we try to keep it varied with stuff that we uh, pick up and everything mm -hmm. and share with you. And of course, let us know any comments about any of these that you like or any that you would recommend. Yes. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter because we, we like to show off pictures and uh, let you know when we're doing things if YouTube does not let you know. So check us out. All right. Well, guess you got some reading to do. I have a lot of reading to do. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings.